Hey, everybody. This is Nikki with Homeschool Knockouts. How are you doing? Well, darling, we are still in the midst of March madness of curriculum flip throughs. Today's flip through is Real Science for Kids, the biology books. With um, It's the focus on middle school um, version, grades five through eight. There are uh, three books in the series. It is the student text that we are flipping through, the teacher's manual that we are flipping through, and the laboratory, or laboratory if you're, if you're English, uh, the laboratory workbook we will be flipping through that one as well. So as I like to say, we cover these books from cover, front cover, to back cover, or as I like to say, I know I'm a broken record, from coast to coast to get the most information out of these um, materials. So let's flip the hood and or the camera and see what's going on with these books. Now, remember, this is not a review, y'all. It's not a review. If you would like um, to see my curriculum reviews, my comprehensive curriculum reviews, check out my playlist um, up here on my uh, homeschool curriculum reviews. I have all subjects in there, okay? But if you want the flip throughs, stay parked right where you are and let's go. All right, what have we got here? We've got Real Science for Kids, the biology book, and it is the focus on middle school series for grades five through eight. We have the student text, the teacher book, and the laboratory workbook. All right, let's start with the student text. Now remember, this is the flip through, so I am not going to give you a lot of commentary, but straight off the bat online, you see all the color. <laughs> Even in the table of contents, you have color. So that's always a good sign, especially for science, science and math. If they can make it more attractive, more students would buy in. All right. So the first thing you'll see with this um, program is that it is full of color. I don't know how they print it with all that color. Seems expensive, but... And you see how they break up the chapters. So this makes it really easy for you to plan for the week or for the month. Okay. Lots of color. And you'll see lots of pictures throughout. And all kinds of pictures from comic strips to like you know, regular clip art to other kinds of pictures, okay? And you'll see lots of bolded um, text in red. But it's a very visually attractive book. And it's not big. It's not thick. Look, we're already on chapter two, okay? Include. You know I gotta say it, y'all. I love South Park. It kind of looks like South Park people. But again, like the illustrations, they're great. Your kids will enjoy turning the pages just to see. Uh, and sometimes, like with my kids, they just, they imagine what the next picture might look like or something. Or like how silly it would be. So, and then you have your little glossary with pictures. There you go. And you have your summary at the end of the chapter. Okay, okay so let's continue here. You see how short the chapters are? And then you have a summary.
and we're at the end. Now these books are really short and sweet and to the point because the whole point of the series is to rotate the um, the science topics, the science topics from biology to chemistry to uh, physics, not in any particular order. That's why the books really just touch on um, topics lightly. Okay, and there you have it. That was the student book. Let's look at the teacher's book. Now, you're not going to see all that fancy or that lovely pop of color right from the jump. <laughs> this tells you teacher's book. It's black and white. Okay, let's get to this quickly. Here in the teacher box, um, this is your friend. It tells you what to expect time-wise and uh, for the reading and for the experiment. So this lets you know what kind of day you're going to have. How intense it could be. Or if you can get out unscathed, right? All right, let's zoom through this. That was the teacher's manual. Now let's wrap up with the, the third and last book, the laboratory workbook. All right. Black and white, y'all. No color. That means get to work. Okay. All right. So let's fly through this. It's not a, a big book. I think it's only what, 20 something pages, 50 pages. So, and the font is really big. So probably 40 pages, really. And this is just where your children are going to do their experiments and record their observations. Okay. All right, kiddos, I mean y'all. And that was your laboratory workbook for 
Real Science for Kids focus on middle school. Okay, so I like this series. Lots of uh, fun visual things to look at. So, all right, so let me flip the camera back on me. Y'all still with me? If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. You guys are nosy nosies or nosy rosies, as I, as I used to call my best friend. You were nosy rosy. Her name was Rosalind. Uh, but that concludes our curriculum flip through for Real Science for Kids. Focus on middle school biology, okay? Now, if you want more curriculum information, check out my playlist on um, curriculum flip throughs or uh, my uh, my uh, map. I got something up there. Just click on whatever you see up above my head. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for uh, liking and sharing and subscribing to this channel. That helps me out. And it lets me know that you love me. You really, really love me. But no, all kidding aside, um, it just lets me know that um, you want me to continue to put videos like this out. Um, and rest assured, I love these recorded videos, but I am going back to my live videos too. I don't know when, but um, live videos are on the horizon. But I really want to get through all of these um, curriculum books so you guys can make an informed decision as you start to prepare for the 2024-2025 school year. My goodness, time flies by. All right, guys. I love you. This is Nikki. Bye-bye.